<laughs> Hi guys! Hi! Hey. No, I don't think I'm I'm just gonna follow you. Oh, I'm gonna go back to the house. Look, here we are! 4604 Frontier! Are we live? Yes! Okay, so please notice this beautiful yard. This house got all new plumbing. Hi, this is Anna. I'm Anna from Happy Karma Homes in Garrett. Um, we got all new plumbing, so we haven't had a yard until recently, and we didn't lose it in the crazy Texas storm. So, pretty exciting. There's a sprinkler system. All irrigated. That we didn't know was turned off. But it's back on now. Back on. Uh, we just put a sprinkler system in. We resodded it with uh, St. Augustine grass. My favorite. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Derek doesn't like St. Augustine, but I do. <laughs> and look at the front of the house, you guys. Gorgeous! So we bought this house June 4th. June 4th of last year. It's March 6th today. Oh yeah. So however many months that is. It's taken a while. And why is that? Because we did full permit. Everything's fully permitted. Uh, full set of architectural plans that are required for that. I mean, also practically it's everything a in this whole house. New house. Yeah, everything in this house is new. All new plumbing, HVAC. Everything. New roof. And uh, it's under contract. Yeah. It's under contract and there's a backup offer. And there's a backup yes. offer. Yes. Thank oh, you so, Thanks to Chris. Oh, so happy. So uh, ba I should say backup contract. Backup contract. Backup. Yes. Contract. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take you in and show you around. Uh, we're just about finished with this thing. We're painting baseboards. Later today, they're painting the walls. We're closing March 18th. Um, oh, this was Anna's really. I love it. Okay, okay. Outside. Okay, outside. Okay. Um, this is this will get painted <laughs> black. Um, but this is the original door. Anna really wanted. I really to like to save stuff. She in really wanted to keep the original door. But we took out the center panels here and put frosted glass in. Um, and the door's going to be painted black. Yeah. Yeah. Also, this looks really good up above. I, I didn't, didn't notice know this. Whole I really like courtyard this. is a great. Lot. And tell us just a little bit about the neighbors in the neighborhood. Oh, they're so sweet. Uh, I mean, this is where I, this was the house I wanted to live in. Yeah, it so it's a little bittersweet that we're like selling it. We're selling it to an amazing family with a couple of kids that are going to love the pool. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. perfect. It's perfect for them. It's a great neighborhood, as you know. As we walking about distance all the time. to Central Market. Um, so that whole complex where Central Market is, you can walk there. Um, established neighborhood from the 1950s. A lot of ranch houses and mid-century modern. So you're they call it the gayborhood. So a lot of gays live here. A lot of families live here. A lot of kids live here. It's very, it's Everybody knows each other. It's diverse. We like yeah. diverse. Yeah. Okay. Um, this this light room. fixture. Love this light fixture. We worked very hard. And a shout out to my friend Day Spring Fowler. This is her light fixture in her dining room, and she invited us over for dinner, and then we promptly went and purchased it. So, <laughs> thank you so much for having us for dinner. <laughs> we totally um, copied your house. Okay. So let's take you into the kitchen. Yeah. So one of our favorite things about this house is the way when you walk in, your eyes draw into this rock wall back here. Um, one of this is Anna's design inspiration, which can capture as much of the earthiness that this rock wall puts off in our kitchen, so we pick the truck. You can't really see the back of the counter because it's taped up. Um, but it's okay, the next video will be the finished video, and we'll be able to see it all. Look at this kitchen. We've talked about this kitchen forever. Um, I'm so excited to have it where it is now. So it's a dark name. Here's a shot of it. Oh, wait, here's the camera shot. You can see it right here really, really well. Yes, okay, so. Okay, don't do all that. Okay, just a little yeah. bit. Gorgeous. So it's much softer than like a traditional kind of white yeah. quartz countertop, but it's still quartz, so very durable. And then I can oh, see God. the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Nice. Waterfall. Yeah, waterfall island. island. Um, pantry. Oh, not pantry, pantry sorry, laundry kitchen, room. This entire kitchen is custom. Um, all the dimensions for the cabinets, the whole layout. Derek drew it out. Hand drawn. Well, I tried um, to So a lot of attention went into this. The laundry room looks really good. Yeah. So let's take you. So right. So let's take you into the master bedroom real quick. Mm -hmm. So if Watch you remember, paint, by if the you way. remember, we we split this floor plan. This is this is an addition. So this is uh, your your. So this bay. used to be the third and fourth uh, bay for the garage, but you still have your full garage out there. And then look, now there's a whole primary owner suite. How exciting. Access to the outside. This is fully landscaped. That's for skinny dipping. You've got steps going to the back. <laughs> um, huge master closet here. Yeah, come in, because I don't think you've seen this 
shelves and everything in there. Oh my god, there's a light that works? <gasps> Shit, I didn't know that. That's exciting. Okay, but you will get pain on yourself if you touch Yeah, be very careful. His and hers, or hers and hers, or whatever. His and his, or they and they. Well, no, it's his and hers. In, they're, in this particular they're case, different. it's his and her, but. Yeah. This is great. I love this yeah. closet. This is it's a great closet. It's a really good configuration. And then come look at this. Um, so the cabinets are in. They still need to be stained. That's happening on Tuesday. But as you can tell, the countertops are in, the plumbing fixtures are in, the light fixtures are in. So I want to talk a little bit about the light fixtures because I'm, we're, we're still deciding. When I saw a picture of them when Derek was here and I wasn't, I was like, yeah, yeah, it looks great. Now being in this space, I'm a little bit like, huh, that's kind of a lot. But I ordered really, really tall, long Skinny mirrors, mirrors and they're hard, they're hard to find. So one of the things that we do at Happy Karma Homes is we don't do what everybody else does. So you're not gonna see like your standard flip from us. So I like the juxtapose of like, it's a little bit juxtaposition, what's it, I abbreviated it. Um, <laughs> I, I like that it's a little bit off and I think with the mirrors, it's gonna complete it. But if it doesn't, then sorry, Derek, we'll have to get new light fixtures. I think it's gonna work. So once you get everything complete, then it'll tie it together. Of but course. just know that like I also have my doubts, and then you just have to trust your gut. That's so good job. Roll of the dice sometimes, and yeah. it totally pays off. Yep. And then also, we got told by everybody to not add this bedroom and bathroom. We did get told that. We, we got, got told that by every other investor that we work with. And we did it anyway because we create houses that we want to live in. And if you do it the way you love and you know what the right call is, it makes it really easy. It also makes it very expensive sometimes, and it makes it take a long time because we're in the process of replacing an electrical panel right now because of the storm a few weeks ago. We started to see that like we never want this family to have any issues that would make us not proud of our work. So as a result, we're upgrading the electrical, and it's taking some time and some money, but it's the right call. And it's gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna call you over Sorry, to Sorry, I don't say much on these videos because I'm also still looking around. <laughs> 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 yeah, of, of all the things that we do. So let me show you the garage real quick. Um, I'll follow you. Okay. I'm glad my sweater matches so, the paint in case I get it on. So <laughs> new garage doors went in yesterday. Yes, I've um, seen these yet. I didn't really know how big of a deal that was, but these garage doors make this whole garage feel, I mean, it's dirty right painted, now. painted, right? Yeah, that's on the outside. Okay. But just the inside, like they, yeah. everything looks fresh and clean and yeah. new because they are. Love the windows that we kept here to bring a lot of light in. Beautiful. Um, so this like space. On the other side, so we have to balance it out. Well, and also though, this space could be more than a garage. Okay. Like somebody could really. Yeah. Well, our neighbors in Temple, they um, turn their garage into a gym. Exactly. They, like finish it out. Exactly. And, yeah. So. Yeah. So we, so we so we storage system back here. Yeah, and we sheetrocked all of this. It's all painted, textured, mm -hmm. so it's a really nice finish out for a garage. Most people don't do that, but I feel like that's important. All right, so the reason that How we did coming across the house. The reason that we did and let's give a shout out to Teodora. She's watching. Hi, Teodora. Hi, She's awesome. She's an awesome photographer here in Austin. Oh, great. Oh, really? Um, so the reason that we did this is because we have a one-year-old and while we want to be near him right now because he's still kind of waking up sometimes during the night, we are excited for the day when we are across the house from him. And so that's how we designed the house. You've got a fully functioning other side of the house and then you've got your living quarters over here. It's a three bedroom, two bath, which is the original footprint of the house. I'm going to take you into the former master. So this was all an open closet. Oh, this is fine. Um, and we turned it into a closet with a desk. Oh yeah, there's a fan in the middle of the floor. So, so gorgeous. That closet looks really good. It does. Wonderful. And then you've got a little recessed area to do a desk or not a dresser if you want to. Um, this looks really good. Right? It looks gorgeous. I'm a little, I'm a little proud of that. I know. So I'm mostly <laughs> at home with Jack finding. So I do all of our sales and acquisitions. So I've been finding new deals, which. To, to be continued on that. We, later. we have a really exciting one coming, but um, Derek is here almost every day, and so I'm just really proud of you. Thanks. It looks beautiful. Good job. It's gorgeous. 
It does. I mean, we didn't need a closet that was 12 feet wide or whatever this is, so we left a space here finished yeah. out for a desk area, yeah. which I think is a really cool touch. And just look, you can see the pool from you here. Pool. So when you're here doing your homework, but you really want to be swimming. <laughs> um, we also reclaimed the former HVAC and extended the shower out. I mean, look at this oh my God, this looks gorgeous. Look at it with the glass this? on it. Wow. No, no, yeah, it's gorgeous. I know. Also, I had to sell Derek Hart on the black and gold fixtures, but we did mix metal in both of the bathrooms, and I think that it was a good call. So these will have, this is gold, this is black, like. But in our, in our hardware for like the towels and everything are black and gold to tie yeah, them together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gorgeous. Which the um, new owners really like. So I know. Cool. In fact, she was wearing mixed metals <laughs> when she came to look at the house. So all we were like, all yeah. the windows, let me tell you, I was sweating bullets when I ordered these windows because they're all, they're not, they're custom windows. They're, they're not, they're made to order. So if you get the sizes wrong and you order a whole house of windows for like $10,000, I remember that week. you're stuck with them. And guess what's on back order now due to, yes, windows. I have a custom yeah. build up north. That, guess what? It's windows. on, it's delayed because of yeah. windows. That's the first thing you have to order. Um, yeah. But yeah, I have, so, I used, so I used um, Don's and so if you're ever looking for a really great, question? And windows. Oh. Uh, if you're looking for a really great window and door company local here in Austin, Donovan Millworks, um, they they provide windows. They buy them. Uh, but the guy, the owner, Jim Donovan, came out and met me and measured all the windows because I told him I'm really nervous. And he was like, I'll come measure and we'll get it right. And I should tell you nice. what. I mean, they perfect. they're so tight. It's the perfect fit. So we can't go in there because he's working. Yeah, okay. he's going there. But this is great. We did all custom cabinetry. This this is natural yeah. walnut that's going to get stained. Yeah, it's going to get stained. Um, this will be a lighter shade, and so will the master. The other bathroom will be a darker um, walnut. But um, we had I I wanted to have furniture, mid-century modern furniture, be the um, the vanity, but. I didn't have the time to find it, so we had a guy custom build it. So it looks like a piece of furniture, which I really love that look. Can't find this one. Nope. Somebody's working in there, but this Somebody's is the, the middle bedroom. Oh, I still, oh yeah, I've got some. And this is the front bedroom here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit like that one, except okay. it doesn't have an ensuite, but it's got the, it has a, a closet and then a desk area next to it, which mm -hmm. right here. So here's the desk area. You can see it. This was the former office and gym um, for the couple that lived here before. So um, they office out of this. And then Christy, let's show down this hallway. Yeah. Um, you can really see it right now, but there, there's... That tree is so pretty, Derek. I've never noticed it. I've never been to this space in the house. This is just beautiful. It's gorgeous. I would love this as a bedroom or so One day these work trucks will be there. We <laughs> <laughs> need to get cookies for the entire the neighborhood. neighborhood. Look at these closets. Yeah. I, yes, as we walk by them. closets, we spend a lot of time, I, mean, I shouldn't say a lot of time, but we put a lot of effort into making sure oh, yeah. that we got them right. So the, the, the oh. furthest one is across from the bathroom, so it's designed with five shelves for a living closet. The middle one is a regular closet with a rod. And then this one is a very big closet, so it has three fairly spaced shelves for you know big items and maybe Christmas ornaments or, or whatever. Um, so we try to put a lot of thought into all that kind of stuff. So why don't we? Oh, sorry. What matters to us is how a house lives, and we design a house like if we're going to live in it. So we think about every little thing and how we're going to use the house. How a house lives, I love that. So why don't we take it back to the kitchen with the pool behind y'all and just uh, kind of round out our discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know how much people know about us, but prior to this, Derek had a corporate job, I had a corporate job, he was in project finance and oil and gas, and I was in um, pharmaceutical we're sales. Getting, we're getting moved over here, but I thought it was away. And I was in pharmaceutical sales, and we quit our jobs, I convinced Derek to do this, we quit our jobs and traveled around the world. And I say this because in one year, we went to 30 countries, and we stayed in 167 Airbnbs. So when we talk about, I should be a writer. <laughs> you, he's Phil, also an accountant. Phil, and does our, I can't and does see all very well. So, oh, this is better right here. I can see all. Yep. So when I say that, like we know how houses live, we know how spaces live. We really do from around the world. And is also the girl that when she walks into a hotel room, she moves furniture around. <laughs> 
that. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, and it's because my mom does too. So it's like a family thing. We've been doing it forever. But um, yeah, so we, when we ended our trip around the world, we we're like, well, what's the one thing that we really, really love and always talk about and do together? And we realize our real passion are creating beautiful homes and how places live and interact with nature and how you get to interact with your family because your house works. And that's what we're all about. And that's why we named our company Happy Karma Homes because we want everybody that works with us to have a great experience. Whether you're selling us your house or buying a house from us, we want it to always be a happy, karmically fabulous experience. What she said. We just talked about this morning about renaming our company and I think I've won that we're gonna keep happy karma. <laughs> just a but little side thing, note. You know, it's so cool to be here and see this really coming together. And one day we're going to have to do, some, uh, we have to figure out how to do a, a four pictures. Because it is crazy to think about what this looks like now and what it did. Can that like. be the day that we And I don't mean like it. when we bought it, although even then it still needed, it was unfinished, but then we really broke it down. Yeah. I mean, that wall is completely new. That was wide open. This oh, whole those, back wall those, was, was rebuilt. Those windows look amazing. So it would be this really cool to be... share what this looked like before oh. and then during. Can we, Can we look at this? I mean, is this gorgeous? It is gorgeous. Can you you could just do your dishes here, washing your dishes, and that's your view. Oh no, it's not. Anymore. This was supposed to. This is getting finished up to. Yeah, so the next video with y'all will be most likely the finished product. Yeah. We're so close. We so um. Stay on and you'll be able to see Pack Saddle here in a minute as well. Thank y'all for joining. Thank you guys. Bye.